I was born in a part of um, southeastern Nigeria called Burutu, which is a very lovely seaport. And um, I grew up in southern Nigeria. Nigeria. I left Nigeria at the age of um, 29. I left Nigeria in obedience to a call to missions. I left, lived and worked in a missionary hospital in northern Nigeria in a place called Zaria which has suffered a lot from the effects of Boko Haram as we speak now. So I've got friends back there who, whose families have been affected and whose relatives have been abducted and some killed. What, what happened in Berlin yesterday is um, it's unthinkable and it is not acceptable. And my suggestion for us is that even when we differ on religious or political grounds, we should talk with each other rather than resorting to violence because the pain and the harrowing devastation that is caused by things like that are very difficult to imagine because I lived in a city in northern Nigeria, in Zaria, where 127 churches were burnt down in one day. Did you know many and people? lots of Christians were killed with their in their churches. So I know about the pain of extremist religious violence and the pain of human suffering that comes with these sorts of events. And in time of pain, hardship and difficulties, people ask the question, where is God? And I often say, God is with us. As the message of Christmas clearly speaks, Emmanuel, God with us. God never abandons us in our time of trouble. In fact, but for the grace of God, many more people may have been killed in Berlin yesterday. And don't we just thank God that only nine people were killed? Not that those nine lives are not important, but what I often think about is the effect could have been worse, but for the grace of God. So God is with us in our suffering. God bears our pain with us. He cries with us, but for his support and strength. How would we cope? in difficult times. I think we shouldn't give place to fear. I think we should be hopeful and trusting and prayerful and be on the lookout for each other's um, welfare and support each other. And I believe by doing so, we would not give in to fear that divides and creates oppression. Because fear is intimidating, fear is, is not good. Fear creates tension, fear creates suspicion. But if we give place to love, hope, trust, and the peace that Christmas brings, then we will not be given into fear. So I plead with Londoners to live in hope and love with each other and share the goodwill message of this Christmas season and not to give into fear.